Good morning, and welcome to Pacific Hills. Today, we've allowed the cameras to come in and have a sneak peek of what it's like inside our school. This annual investigation into what it's like for the teachers here at Pacific Hills is very important to us, as we show you what's going on beneath the surface. <laughs> And uh, you can call me Phil, Philly, but don't. Mr. G's fine. Um, I play a vital role in this school. Mr. G. Um, I think that uh, head of senior school is quite. Uh, sorry, assistant. Head of senior school is, is a good uh, good role in this school and I feel that I've uh, accomplished a lot so far. So I'm now in my domain which is uh, senior school as you know. I've come from slums of middle school, year 8. Those were very rough days. But I went through um, 80 to 120 censures per week. Um, that was just my general duty there during year eight. Um, so I, I really think that you know senior school has uh, has done me well, except the year eights have followed me. That is, I just cannot get away from them at all. G'day, I'm Andrew Waters. I'm a retired interrogation officer, but at the moment I'm a deputy principal here at Pacific Hills Christian School and I'm actually the instigator of discipline here. Hello, I'm Stephen Gricey Grice. I'm uh, the head of the senior school here. I'm a... Hey Gricey, I've got you. Phil! Yeah? I'm in the middle of something. Oh, I bought your coffee though. Is it skim? No, it's just a regular cap. Phil! Just go. Oh. Sorry. Just go, Phil. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I really think all the students and staff really look up to me as a leader. Um, you know, particularly the, the heads of school. I think they really just value my personality and my charisma. You know, I think our school's pride and joy is undoubtedly the elevator. Not every school has an elevator. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Not happening. Hello, I am Claire Chapman and I teach mathematics all the way from the um, Extension 1 Intelligence students um, down to the petty general math students. Teaching general maths is um, always interesting with the boys. Um, they're constant riffraff and um, they're really just the scum of life and nink and poops. They're late! They're late! Boys, you're late! The bell just went! It went 30 seconds ago, you're late! Exactly, Matt. the bell went! Ew. faculty is just the physical dimension that comes with it. You could say I'm a bit of a hit with the ladies just in terms of my bear-like stamina and massive physique. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Madam! 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 Whoa, Marty's in the house. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
Philip, gutless. Stephen, gutless. God bless them, the great guys, but they're just gutless. Oi, Gracie, can you pick that up for me? Stephen, please. And the next one. Show some respect for your schoolmate. Do you know why you're here? I honestly think it's just too much. Like, you've come from middle school. I don't know what it was like there, but you're in my house now. And I don't think this is going to pass in year 11 and 12. Do you realise? What? How? No. So, I am definitely treating you like an adult here. Yeah, but... Nah! Shush! Okay? No. I have said it's too much. Does it... Does it even taste good? No! Sell one! Off you go! I'm Tim Childs, or Childsy, and this is um, Swain Dog. I'm Mark Swainson. Swain Dog. I'm the head of HSIE, which is Human Swag and its Environment. I teach Swagonomics, Business and Geography. Swagonomics. I, I teach them as well. I was, yeah, I yeah. Still, I do it. Yeah, I do it. I actually think HSIE should be... Excuse me, have you booked this room? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like It's better than yours, damn right It's better than yours, I could teach you Hi, I'm Paul McConnell, but most know me by Macca, Big M, Easy Mac, you know, whatever you want But I'm head of PE here, but I do cop a lot of flack You know, you know what they say, those who can't do, teach Those who can't teach, teach gym But, you know what, I can do 53 push-ups Oh, God! I got the tickets! I got the ticket! Seven, come on! Ah, eight! Take a Nine! Ah, ten! Ah, I got the ticker! We can do it! Twelve! Thirteen! Fourteen! Kim and I speak advanced England. <laughs> I mean cat, dog, dung sao. Dung sao! Dung sao! Harris is lifting his game. I'm gonna have to sort that out. Oh! Oh, Miss Kim, do you need some assistance? Yes. That's one for me, Marty. Hi, folks. I am Andrew Lack, and I am the head of the Odell Learning Resource Centre, and I keep the peace and stability of the library. I believe that I have one of the highest stress jobs in the school. 
I've been working very hard upon a PowerPoint based on the Felis Sylvestris Catus. As you can see here, the PowerPoint that I have designed for my peers to be able to view. They will see that the Phyllis Sylvestris Catus, also known as the Cat for those uneducated folks, is one of the most majestic creatures that has ever existed. Hi folks! So my downtime when I'm not um, being extremely important in this school, a little bit of male modelling and uh, some stuff right here. Some photos of me, um, you know, just uh, doing the good old shoot, the model shoot. This this one, this this captures my essence. Essence, right there. And uh, that one brings the way that the jacket accents my beard in such a way is just, it's beyond sassy almost. So that's what I like to do in my downtime. Hey folks! going on here, follow me. <laughs> Now, Philly. Let's address it now. Create a new seating plan for the library because I believe it is time for a new system to be introduced into the library. With a couple of sweeping reforms, I think we should change mm. the corrals into a shape which is more designed to the learning environment that the students are familiar oh, with. Oh, I like that. Mm. Wait, stop! Have I booked this room? Oh, no, it's okay. I booked the room weeks ago. So, if we continue with this... 7,896! 7,897! This is a message in regards to the fire extinguisher incident which happened just last week. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you oh, I do not have any money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills that I have acquired over a very long career, which make me a nightmare for people like you. If you turn yourself in now, you remain anonymous and placed under detention. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. I will kill you. 